Hey guys, gals. So today's is a bit difficult. The daily contract is Originium Zone Activation 3, which is a pain in the backside, particularly if you're just using a low end squad. Uh, now, my particular one is going to be using uh, some specialty units. So this obviously is not going to be the best clear for everybody. I do suggest doing that on its own, unless you are, of course, bringing, you know, a mostly five, six star squad. Okay. So we're going to have Myrtle, Scavenger and Courier all as vanguards. Um, Perfuma, Suzuro and Gaviel as healers. Now Gavi is just gonna Gavil is just gonna be a reserve healer until right at the end. Gummy is also gonna be backup healing. We need Derna. So an arts tank. Uh, I prefer using skill one. Really up to you guys. Uh, unfortunately, I just I just don't think Durnar skill two is worth it. Vermail with skill two, so a split shot sniper. Armia, skill one or two, it doesn't really matter, whichever one you guys prefer to use. Gnosis as a six star, so I'll actually just have a quick goosey and see if I can grab somebody else's Gnosis. Because to get all the medals, we do need to borrow five, uh, five operators. Uh, oh, derp, skins. So that will do us. Hypothermia, skill three is what we're after. So I'll just grab this one. And last but not least, of course, as I said, we do have a bit of a specialty unit. I'm gonna be using Aurora just because she works well with what I'm gonna be using Gnosis for. So, not the best strategy for everybody, but I think this one's quite easy. So if this helps you out, guys, gives you some food for thought, shoot me a sub. I always appreciate it. As always, we are on the deployment point clock, starting off nice and early. So what we're going to be doing is pushing out Myrtle facing off to the right. Scavenger off to the right, deployment points as soon as we can. Courier up here facing left. The male up the top, facing off to the left. Armia off to the left. Our Gnosis, just in here, facing right. Start throwing skills as soon as we can. Suzuro facing up. And now basically what we're doing is we're just sort of biding time to get as many deployment points as we can. So that's the last one I'll worry about with Courier. So I'll take Courier back out. And these two will be the last ones on these two. So skill. And skill. So I can take Scavenger out straight away, but I gotta leave Myrtle in to let her skill cycle. So Myrtle out, and then we're gonna do Gummy, Derna, and last but not least, Aurora. So I'll fast forward this. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this guy to engage Aurora so she gets her skill maxed out. And as soon as it's ready, we're just going to use that skill. And Aurora will eat that enemy. There we go. 
So I'll fast forward this again, just let this cycle through. So this guy's basically just going to be getting hit, tanked by Aurora the whole time. No huge dramas. For male skill. Try and clear out some of these enemies as best we can. Because there are a lot of enemies we need to worry about cycling through here. Now specifically we got to worry about these guys. They do leave a shadow. Um, but... The shadow should get cleaned up. But what we're going to do is we're going to go skill. Again, just wait for the enemy to freeze. So it should take two hits. And then use Aurora's skill to finish the job off. And once again, we're just sort of waiting watching, seeing what happens. So right now I'm going to put Scavenger back in here. Once this enemy gets all the way to Gummy, I want Gummy attacking it basically. So once again, we're looking at this enemy that leaves the shadow. I'm going to use a whole bunch of skills. Just try and get as much damage on this main enemy, because that's a problem enemy. Outside of that... Keep an eye on your Aurora, and once again, we're going to use Gnosis skill right towards the end. So we really want to get rid of that enemy and not let it through. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for a skill cycle here. It is what it is. It's not a lot we can do about it. The dirt mounds are about to break, which means things are going to get a bit, a bit dicey for us, but that's okay. So, once again, as soon as this enemy gets here, we're going to use scavenger skill, because I want that enemy gone before the dirt walls break. Okay. He's done. We're going to take him out, and now we're going to pop Gabiel in here. Everything else is dead at the top, so it's just this enemy that's being blocked by Derna at the moment. So seeing as how it's being blocked, there's no point in me actually having any other DPS there, because they can't do anything. So we're going to get rid of this one at the bottom because it will go down and then we're going to take out Aurora now at this point in time guys you've got two options uh, A yank everything out and you just let this guy go through we've got three defense points so you can or you can literally just sit here and wait it out it's up to you guys what you want to do I'm not going to tell you you have to do one or the other for the sake of the recording I'm just going to let it through but that is it as I said do the daily contract by itself. It increases all enemies by 110%. It's a pain in the ass. Just do it by itself. Or bring a heavy, heavy six-star group. Outside of that, hope that helps, guys.